Ready to share and organize resources in a collaborative workspace? Then our Groups feature will help get you started. First, you must be logged in to create a group. Move your mouse over to the Groups tab at the top of the page and click on Create a Group. Type in a descriptive name of your group, Early Childhood School Garden, for example, and select what type of group it is, either general, for instructors, or students, or administrators. Then click Next. Select the subjects that your group will focus on by clicking the boxes next to the subject name. You can select either specific grades or grade spans, and you can add as many grades as you like. Then click Next. Fill out the group's description or purpose of their work. Then click Next. Finally, you need to set permissions for anyone who can join your group. You have two options. You can either leave your group open so anyone can join, or you can choose that interested members must first get approval from you before they can join the group. Select your permissions and then click Next to officially create your group. Now that you've created your group, you can edit your group profile information by clicking on the tool icon next to Information. Profile Information is where you can change the description of the group and upload an image for the group. You can also add administrators by typing in their email or OER Commons username and clicking Add Admin. Be sure to save the changes you make to your group profile information. When you click on Membership Control, you can change your group permission settings and invite members to join by typing in their email or OER Commons username and clicking Send Invitation. When you click on People, you can see the members of your group. Timeline is where you can view the activity of your group as well as add comments. Shared resources allow you to create collection folders and add resources to folders. To create a collection folder, click on Create Collection and type in the name of the folder. You can also add subfolder sets to your collection folders by clicking on Create Sets and typing in the name of the subfolder set. OER Commons members have created many different types of groups. Access these groups by moving your mouse over Groups and click on All Groups. You can filter the groups by type, subject, and grade level. If you're looking for a specific group, you can also fill out a keyword and press Search. When you find a group you'd like to join, click on the group and click Join this group underneath the description. Now that you've created and joined groups, you can start saving resources to your groups. We're going to go through two ways to save resources to a group. The first way is from the resource itself. Click on the green Save bar next to the resource description and identify the group and collection folder you'd like to save it to. Click on the folder name to save. You can also add a new folder to save the resource to. The second way to save a resource is within a group. When looking at the Shared Resources folder within a group, click Add Resources. Type in keywords into the search bar and select the resource that you'd like to save. Click on the box next to the resource title and add it to a collection folder by clicking on the folder icon and selecting the appropriate collection folder. The final groups feature we'll look at is organizing collection folders and subfolder sets. Once resources have been saved to your group, you can move and remove them from different collection folders and subfolder sets. Simply click on the box next to the resource title and pull down the resource folder options to add it to the appropriate folder or subfolder. You can also remove resources from your group by clicking on the box next to the resource title and selecting the trash bin icon. Thank you for being a valued member of our OER community. Enjoy!